In the previous movie, we were able to see that Recycle properly analyzed all the slices and pulses in the beat, but some loops will not work out that way. You will have to add your own slices, edit the slices, and move some of them around. So let's look at how we would do that with a more complicated loop. Let's audition this and see what we have. I'm hitting spacebar to play. Alright, let's recycle the second loop. There are some stutter edits in here and some glitches, and I can foresee that there might be some problems with the program chopping up every single pulse. So we'll start by zooming in. I'll adjust the sensitivity slider. At this point, I'm going to move the left locator to the first slice, just so that I can have a point to rewind to. And as I'm scanning across, I see that I can further use the sensitivity slider. All right, I'm going to back this up. And now I'll, I will start with the auditioning of each slice and add slices as I need them. So I will zoom in. Once again, Apple click and drag. I'm grabbing the arrow tool, which turns into my audition tool. And there are two pulses I need to separate here, which I can do with the pencil tool. I'll zoom in to take a look at the file. And you will get used to looking, the wave, looking at the waveforms. I can see that the waveform actually changes at this point. That's usually an indication that one pulse is ending and another one is starting. And of course, you can definitely see the wave pulse changing here. I will grab the arrow tool again and make sure that I've separated those. Zoom out a little bit and continue auditioning each of these slices. Now there's two glitches here. I really don't think that's part of the pulse of the beat. So I can use the mute tool by clicking in the triangle to remove those slices. program will scroll here and the dotted line lets me know the last slice that I was auditioning so I don't lose my place. I'll remove that. That doesn't really feel like a strong pulse. That's just a little bit of noise. I'll need to chop those up so I'll grab the pencil tool. Zoom in here to look at the wave file. And use the arrow tool to audition these to make sure I chop them in the right place. And I'm using the quick commands now, Apple 1 through 4, to quickly change my tool so I can move through this quickly. Apple 1 for my speaker tool. Apple 4 for my pencil tool. Apple click and drag to zoom in. There we go. These are the stutter edits. I will leave those chopped up. Apple 1 for the audition tool. Apple 2 for the mute tool. I think you get the idea. I'll just complete the auditioning of this file. Apple 4 for the pencil tool. And I know that I'll need to add a slice at the end. And since I'm here, I might as well set my right locator. Now I'm satisfied that that loop has been properly recycled. Now I need to make sure that I have my right locator at a right loop point. 
and count the number of bars, enter them here, and then save this file as a rex file. Two, three, four. Great, the right locator is at the right loop point. I have four bars. I'll enter that here at the top. And I'm ready to save this as a recycle file. We'll call this loop number two. And there you have it.